Welcome to my presentation. This is lecture 007, Influence Line for Beams Using Equilibrium Method. Now, let us define Influence Line. Influence Line is a diagram constructed to show the variation in the effect of a single moving unit load on some function at any section of a beam, floor girders, or trusses such as reaction, shear, and bending moments. Now, aside sa shear and bending moments diagram, yung influence line, another method ito for determining maximum reactions, maximum shear, and maximum bending moments at specified point. Now, we, we have procedure for analysis. Number one, place a unit load at various locations X along the member and at each location use statics to determine the value of function such as reaction, shear, or moment at the specified point. Number two, if the influence line for a vertical force reaction at a point on a beam to be constructed, consider the reaction to be positive at the point when it acts upward on the beam. Number three, if a shear or, or moment influence line is to be drawn for a point as positive according to the same sign convention used for drawing shear and moment diagrams. Number four, it is recommended that one first construct a table listing unit load at x versus the corresponding value of the function calculated at the specified point. Number 5, all statically determinate beams will have influence lines that consist of straight line segments. Example number 1, construct the influence line for the vertical reaction at point A and B of the beam shown. Now, solution, place the unit load at location X. Then, we will have a reaction at A and B. The required, so influence line for the vertical reaction at point B. Now, solve natin yung reaction. Summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise is positive. So, RV times 5 minus 1 times x is equal to 0. So, ang RB is equal to x over 5. So, tabulate natin. So, at point A, when x is equal to 0, so, yung RB is equal to 0. So, gamit yung formula na RB is equal to x over 5. So, a point B, so when x is equal to 5 meters, so yung RB is equal to 1. Then, at point C, when x is equal to 10 meters, yung RB is equal to 2. Okay? Now, gawa tayo ng influence line. So, at point A, mayroon tayong 0. Then, sa point B, may 1. Then, sa point, two, ah, sa point C, mayroon tayong 2. Ito yung mga ordinate ng RB. So, kukunik natin yan. Ito siya. Then, this is the answer. So, this is the influence line for the vertical reaction at point P. Influence line for the vertical reaction at point A. So, since nakuha natin yung RB, RB is equal to x over 5. So, yung RA naman, summation of forces along Y is equal to 0. Considering upward is positive, RA plus 
x over 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, yung RA is equal to 1 minus, 5, uh, 1 minus x over 5. So, tabulate natin. So, at point A, when x is equal to 0, yung RA is equal to 1. So, gamit yung formula na RA is equal to 1 minus x over 5. So, at point B, when x is equal to 5 meters, so, yung RA is equal to 0. So, at point C, when x is equal to 10 meters, so, yung RA is equal to negative 1. Now, for the influence line, so, at point A, meron tayong ordinate na 1. Sa point B, meron tayong 0. Then, sa C, negative 1. Then, kukunit natin. Ito siya. So, this is influence line for the vertical reaction at point A. Okay? Example number 2. Draw the influence line for the shear at point B of the beam. So, solution. We have vertical reactions at A and point C. Then, place the unit load at location X. Then, solve natin yung reactions. So, summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise is positive. RC times A minus 1 times X is equal to 0. So, yung RC is equal to X over 8. Then, for RA, summation of forces along Y is equal to 0. Considering upward is positive. So, ang RA, so RA plus X over 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ang RA is equal to 1 minus x over 8. Okay? Now, since yung required natin, influence line for shear at point B, so, kakat natin yan sa point B, then, meron yung corresponding shear sa left and right. Okay. So, when x less than or equal to 4 meters, so, using summation of forces along y is equal to 0. So, yung vb, negative vv plus 1 minus x over 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, VV is equal to negative x over 8. Ito yung formula niya. So, when x less than or equal to 4 meters. When x is greater than or equal to 4 meters, ito siya. So, using summation of forces along y is equal to 0. So, vb plus x over 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, vb is equal to 1 minus x over 8. Ito yung formula when x is greater than or equal to 4 meters. Okay? So, ito yung summary natin. So, when x less than or equal to 4 meters, ito yung formula. 
So, when x greater than or equal to 4 meters, ito yung formula. So, tabulate natin. So, at point A, when x is equal to 0, so, less than 4 meters yan. So, ang gamit natin yung formula, so, VB equals to minus negative x over 8. So, yung VB natin is equal to 0. So, at point B, when x is equal to 4 meters, so, mayroon tayong left and right na shear sa point B. So, sa left, gamit yung formula na negative x over 8. So, yung VB natin is equal to negative 0.5. Then, sa right, so, gamit yung formula na 1 minus x over 8. So, yung BV natin sa right side. So, we have 0.5. So, at point C, when x is equal to 8 meters, so, yung BV natin is equal to 0. So, sa point D, so, 12 meters yung x. So, yung BV natin is equal to negative 0.5 So, gawa tayo ng influence line for shear So, at point A we have 0 Then, sa point B since we have left and right So, sa left we have negative 0.5 And sa right mayroon tayong 0.5 then sa point C we have 0 then sa point D mayroon tayong negative 0.5 so kukonnect natin yan ito siya so this is the influence line for the shear at point B of the beam example number 3 draw the influence line for the moment at point P of the beam So, solution, we will have a vertical reaction at A and C, then place a unit load at location X, then so solve natin yung reactions, gamit yung equilibrium equation, so summation of moment at point A is equal to 0, considering counterclockwise positive, so RC times 8 minus 1 times x is equal to 0. So, RC is equal to x over 8. So, for the RA, summation of forces along y is equal to 0, considering upward is positive. So, RA plus x over 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, yung RA is equal to 1 minus x over 8. So, since na yung required natin, influence line for the moment at point B, so, kakat natin sa point B, then may corresponding na moment sa left and right. Okay? So, when x is less than or equal to 4 meters, ito siya. So, using the mo summation of moment at point B is equal to 0, considering counterclockwise is positive. So, MB plus 1 times 4 minus x minus 1 minus x over 8 times 4 is equal to 0. So, simplify natin. So, MB plus 4 minus X minus 4 plus X over 2 is equal to 0. So, cancelled out yung 4. So, ang MB is equal to X over 2. So, this is the formula when X is less than or equal to 4 meters. So, when x 
is greater than or equal to 4 meters ito siya so summation of moment at point B is equal to 0 considering counterclockwise is positive so minus MB plus X over 8 times 4 minus 1 times x over uh, minus 4 is equal to 0 so minus mb plus x over 2 minus x plus 4 is equal to 0 so yung mb is equal to 4 minus x over 2 so ito yung formula when x is greater than or equal to 4 meters. Summary natin. So, when x is less than or equal to 4 meters, ito yung formula. When x is greater than or equal to 4 meters, ito yung formula. So, tabulate natin. Sa point A, when x is, is equal to 0, so, yung MB natin is equal to 0. So, less than 4 meters yan. So, sa point B, when X is equal to 4 meters, so, my left and right tayo na moment. So, sa left, we have 2. Then, sa right, parehas lang. So, we, we have 2. Sa point C, when X is equal to 8 meters, so, greater than 4 meters yan. So, ang MB natin is equal to 0. Sa point B, when X is equal to 12 meters, ganun din, greater than 4 meters. So, yung MB natin is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, influence line tayo. Sa point A, we have 0. Then, sa point B, so, parehas naman yung left and right. So, we have 2. Sa point C, 0. Then, sa point D, we have negative 2. So, kukonnect natin yan. Itong insura niya. So, this is the influence line for the moment at point B of the beam. Okay? So, para naman sa references, 